Okay, she's... Oh. Why? This is the worst. And she's been happy and sad and happy and sad. Good morning, afternoon, evening. It is Alexis Arcade, and today is a beautiful day to not be outside, but instead to continue our journey here on The Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. And finally... Penelope is out of her grieving mode. I've just taken her home and uh, oh crap child No, not right now. I'm introducing my video. Can you not can you not do that right now? All right, go go punish that child get off get off the treadmill and go And go and go punish. Okay. Anyway, Penny's finally not sad. It took her leaving that bar I guess to just be happy because as soon as we got home, well, as soon as we got home, her mood lit switched to happy for a second, and then it switched back to sad. But then just recently, she's been happy again, which is really nice because, like I said, it was near impossible to get anything done when she was sad. So here she is. See, see, look, see, it just did it. It just moved her mood lit. I don't know what's going on with that. So we'll just, running is what seems to be what's making her happy. So we'll just keep her running for the time being and hope that'll do the trick until uh, how many hours we got? 12, until she's no longer mourning. Um, so yeah, well, yeah. But anyway, our focus of the day is actually really Quaid because his birthday is in a week from today in the game which means that we will get to kick him out. Oh my God, speaking of kicking out, we have not actually visited the other household in a while. Everybody, is everybody at this house? Or is there some here? No, nobody's here. Oh no, I for yeah, I've forgotten again. I've forgotten again, no. Okay, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Darn it, because now we've lost all the ghost spirits. But you know what? Honestly, the ghosts are just super annoying at the end of the day, more than anything, when we played at this house, because they just break stuff. What if they, like, repaired stuff? Wouldn't that be really cool? You know what I'm saying? Crap, but we gotta move these Whitleys into the other house. Okay, is this... Is this your house? Move in household from gallery. No, I actually go home. Just go home, cause I don't know which one's your house. Which one's your home? Oh my god, I'm terrible. I'm so terrible. Go home. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I thought I was playing Max. What happened here? Am I playing Oscar? Who? Uh, f uh, wait, I, d I don't know. I. Oh no, why, why are we at this house? Who, who am I supposed to be playing? Oh my god, there's a fire at the Whitley house, though. I can't do anything. What am I supposed to do? Oh no, this is no bueno. This is, this is no, 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 no bueno. Uh, uh, uh. Where is this person that I'm playing? Why are you all the way. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh gosh, 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 oh gosh. Can you move, buddy? No, stop talk no, stop talking. Go go to your family's house. Oh god, this is horrific. This is like this is like a nightmare. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Somebody could be dying right now. But I can't I don't know and I can't switch. I can't What do I do? Somebody put the fire out! Oh my god! What am I supposed to do? Can you just... Can I, I want to play Max, but I'm Oscar. Go home. Just go home. Wow, this is the strangest situation that I've ever been in in this game. Because I don't... I literally can't do anything. I thought I was playing Max, but I was playing Oscar. But I can't find Max to see he went home and it didn't take me home with Max. And now I can't, like, switch between lots to do anything, and Oscar is just dancing around out this fire. Just go home. Somebody's dying in that basement. Somebody is on fire, and somebody's dying. 
The house is gonna burn down. This is why we can't have nice things. Oh my god. 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 I just, I just bring Max Whitley. Ooh, switch control. I cannot do this. I can't do anything during a fire. Oh gosh. 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 Go here. Can I get him away from the fire and then have him go home? No! What, what am I supposed to do? Uh, do we just pass time? Honestly, this is ridiculous. I... Leave the fire. Is he broken? Do I need to... Reset object? Reset object and go home. Are you too good for your home? You guys, this is the biggest disaster of this whole game. Get away from the fire. Get away from the fire. And then just go home. Late for work? All right, then go to work. Do something so that I can go. It's not working. Nothing's working. You guys. I, I, I don't know what to do. Bring Max Whitley here. Will that work? Okay, but great. Now he's out of the fire. And Oscar can't go to work. I've literally, I am at a loss for words. And I don't know what to do. I might have to just, I haven't saved yet. So I might just have to quit the game and come back in because there's, li there's literally nothing I can do. Why is there not a fire department? Why are we still having this fire problem? I can't play Penny. He can't go in the house to put it out. So the house is just burning down and there's nothing I can do about it. I know it's, look at that. You can see the floor. You see, you presume that the whole house is on fire. I mean, what's supposed to be fun about this? Nobody's putting out the fire. Somebody's probably died because of it. And I can't do anything. He can't, he can't, Oscar can't even go to work. This is ridiculous. Um, like a fire shouldn't lock down the whole game. Can we just like, and I can't switch over, I can't switch over to this, to this family to do anything about it. This is the worst thing ever. I don't know what to do. I think I am just gonna have to. I, I really want to figure it out though. But I li but my I can't. Okay, you know what? Hold on. I'm gonna Google this and see if we can come up with a solution. And if we can't, I'm just gonna have to exit the save. I think. Okay. So the only options that I'm seeing are just wait for the fire to go out. And I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna let this fire completely ravage the Whitley house for no reason. And I know you're supposed to just let things happen, but this is honestly insane. It's and I and I and I say insane because you should be able to call the fire department. You should be able to go this is his family's house. He should be able to go in the house. He should be able to knock on the door and get in the house. There should be something you should be able to do so that way this fire doesn't just ravage through the whole house and Oscar should at least be able to go to work. So, uh, you know, I'm making the executive decision. And part of me is like, I can totally just not keep this in the video. And they won't even know that it happened. But 
I don't know. I feel like maybe I should be transparent about this. And, like, I've been transparent about everything. Why not bring you into this part of it? Because this is super bizarre. And just uh, just a small tidbit. Well, this is a big tidbit, actually, of issue. Why are you the one crying like a baby? Max, get yourself together. So we're just going to do this. We are going to exit game. The game is currently in a state where saving isn't possible. And you can't even save! Not that I want to right now, but isn't that ridiculous? Just so ridiculous that you, like, you're stuck. You're stuck letting this fire go through your house. That's it. That's the only option that you have is to just let, oh, and now, now I just had to exit. Did I exit to main menu? I don't know what I did. But anyway, un unbelievable. Just, that was ridiculous. <sighs> okay, um, let me get back into the game. Let me, I don't know, clean the vent out of the dryer, which, because we, well, let's even see where, it, I, I assume it's rolled us back to where, to Penny being at the, Penny being at that bar. So let's just wait a second and see if that's where we're at. I'm a home, no, 100, almost 100% sure that's where we're at. But, uh, Let's uh, do it anyway. Okay. Oh boy, that was something, wasn't it? Something, something. Resume playing. Uh oh. Okay, does show that Penny is at the Pepper's Pub. Okay, cool. So let me get everything under control again. Let me bring Penny home, and um, we'll uh, we'll clean the fire vent, and then. We'll, we'll go over to the other we'll move the Whitley's into the other Whitley house okay I'll be back okay so Penny is home and once again she is sad uh oh she was happy for a second now she, oh see okay so that's back to normal let's go ahead and clean this lint tray so we don't have that go on again okay great everything's great everything is fantastic okay so no fire to worry about why don't you go ahead and get your workout on and then let's go ahead and switch over to the other Whitley house so we can get the Whitley's back in and what why did it what did I do last time that it didn't take me home with uh with whoever I was with that was weird right or did I do so I don't know I don't know but then we got in a crazy fire uh, anyway Hockey, hockey. Everybody's home sometimes. All right, do we have the tombstones anywhere of those who have perished at the house? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, at least two people have. And their tombstones are nowhere to be found. So, all right, great. Let's just uh, move household. And we'll move them into the right Whitley house. Man, I've been, I totally, totally spaced. I can write it down in space, you guys. So I really do apologize for that. Um, oh, crap. But when we do this, keep furniture. Remaining funds, sell furniture. Oh. Oh, when we do this, the house goes unfurnished. This is the worst. The worst. Get it together next time, Alexis. Remember better. Ugh. And they have so little money. All right, we'll give them some money when Quaid moves in. But for right now... I, I guess we'll just, I guess. <laughs> All right, we'll give you a stove. We'll give you a fancy fridge. We'll give you one counter. Oops. And then I'll throw in a couch. I am the most generous of mothers, aren't I? Could use more pillows. That's a hideous couch. Okay, let's get a cozy couch. Cozy, cozy couch. Reclaimed wood sofa. 
uh, don't like it. This is the best sofa, I think, in the game, so we'll get them that. And let's get some beds in here. They're not all going to be sleeping at the same time, so we'll just throw in a couple. We'll do a pink one. We'll do the blue one. And then we'll throw in one more for good measure. Voila. Okay, great. You guys are good. Ready, set, go. I don't know why I said that. But anyway, okay, so all the Whitleys at their original Whitley house. Um, I thought it showed we had some extra tombstones in the preview, but alas, we do not. Man, I feel really bad that I've jacked up this part a couple times. Um, bummer. Okay. Oh, we won't have all the tombstones, but it's fine. We'll have all the memories. We'll have all the memories. All right, so let's go. Whoop. Oh, no, no, I did the right thing. Let's go back. Okay, so the point of today's episode is to go back to the main Whitley household. Make sure, oh, Alexis. Make sure that uh, Quaid becomes an adult and that Penny gets lots and lots of men. We already have the one dude from that bar where she was sad, so we might invite him over and woo with him a little bit, and then we'll try to get some other guys. Because we had so much chaos at the beginning of the episode, I will try not to drag you through all that jazz because, you know, you've seen it before. I'll just I'll just pop in and be like, hey, they can woo now, or something like that. You know what I mean? So, uh, like I said, we've got a week in game until Quaid ages up, and we have a few birthdays in the meantime. So we can pop in for them, too. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, she's, oh. Why, this is the worst. And she's been happy and sad and happy and sad. This is honestly so frustrating. It's been a couple frustrating days in this game here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Vivian's birthday, so we will have her blow out some candles real quick. Also, if you're wondering why there's a retail display, is while I was looking up what was going on with the fire, I read a tip that said, are you tired of feeding your toddlers? Because they can't get in the fridge? Well, put down a retail display and they can get the food out of there. Only halfway through the 100 Baby Challenge, and we learned a new tip and trick. So it's cool, and they have been feeding themselves, which is excellent. So I don't have to let it sit out on the counter and go bad. I can put it in this display, and they will, you know, be good. Anyway, here's Vivian. Cute outfit, girl. Cute outfit. Anyway, I have been trying to woo that Darian guy, and let me tell you, it has been a process. We still, he put his hand up for our first kiss. We've been close, and then he, like, and then Pen Penelope got hungry and decided that was more important. So her priorities need to, <laughs> need to get checked, but I'm still working on wooing that guy. We still have, oh my god, it feels like it's been forever. We still got a hot minute uh, for birthdays, but we'll get there. Like, look how high that love bar is, and they haven't even had their first kiss yet. They can't woohoo. It's it's driving me insane. Straight up, driving me insane. Can we get somewhere? Oh, here we go. All right, this hallway. This hallway is the good luck. So will it work this time, or will he put our his hand in our face? Come on, come on. Oh my God! Finally. Oh, dude, you are not worth it, I'll tell you that. That's for darn sure. But anyway, yay, we have a baby daddy locked down. Can we woohoo to solidify that fact? And we can. Great. Okay, fantastic. I'll see you on the next birthday. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Oh, no, that was Kylie. Joanna and Kylie both just died. I got to notice that Joanna's passed away. And then, and then I tried to travel home, and I was like, why can't I travel home? And it's like, you can't travel home when 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 somebody is dying and I was like somebody's dying and no it's our sister Kylie and why are you going blue are you an alien can we plead let's can we plead for Kylie oh man we were obviously out in the club uh, you know flirting but looks like we brought her back I think right yeah cool look at us go not so look how happy we are now woohoo Look what we did. But I'm curious as to why you were going blue. 
You're glowing blue. When she was dying. You have to be an alien. We're gonna we're we're gonna investigate you at some point. But you know what? While death is here, we could do a little bit of a flirty introduction. You know, just uh just maybe. You know, that's all. I hope I hope this guy didn't Connor didn't see it. Connor, you didn't you saw nothing, right? Okay, he's just oh he's just coming over now to uh to claim his territory. And he walked away. Okay, anyway, we need to get Penny home after that experience. Um, but you were glowing. She was glowing, right? Absolutely. Ambitious. How do we... Is there like an alien test? I don't know. Anyway, all right, I'm going home. All right, it's Stella's birthday. And I knew I got the cake going a little too late, so I knew she wouldn't be able to blow out the candles before she went to school but that's fine i just let her take the day off and we'll come have a blow out of candles now maybe that'll put her in a little bit of a better mood yes girl blow them out Woo! okay so she was self-assured and creative all right so how about we go creativity and a musical genius there we go <laughs> oh indeed girlfriend indeed Right on, right on, right on. Fanoop. Fanoop. And last but not least, it is little Ulysses's, Ulysses? Ulysses, you, you, you that, the, the you bit. It's our little blonde baby's <laughs> birthday. So let's uh, get him to blow these candles out. Maybe it doesn't look like that's something he wants to do. Are we getting them? Are we bringing them up to blow out the candles? Uh-oh. Oh my god. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, everybody, stop calling your mom! Oh, he's evil. Hmm. He's evil. We'll make him an evil genius. There we go. Hey, buddy. Great. Great, great, great. All right. I, said, I don't know why I said last but not least, because we still have... Penny and Quaid's birthday on Sunday, but I guess maybe for like of the toddlers. That's that's what I meant. Totally what I meant, bro. Ew, I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. Okay, mm, I'll see you. I'll see you on Sunday. Ugh. Alrighty then. It is officially Quaid and Penny's birthday, so we're just gonna host a birthday party because why not? Also, we're gonna be bad and not social distance because we're terrible. Okay, both birthday folks, and then the rest will just be the whole Whitley clan. I don't know who you are. There's more Whitleys down here. And we'll invite Kana and Darian. We'll just not flirt with them on the same floor. Uh, we'll hire a caterer, yes. And sure, we'll hire a mixologist. Why not? Why not? Uh, why not? Like, why, uh, he, okay, sorry. Right on. Let's -a go. Let's have big. No, no, Penny, go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. It's okay, Penny, go to the bathroom. Oh, and she's got a rash. That's, uh, do we have any medicine? We do! That works well. So let's also watch something and uh, enjoy and get some fun. Get some fun going. I wonder what would happen if she woohooed with one of the guys with the other guys in the house. Would they even know? I don't know. Birthday, some tips for more successful event. Birthday celebrants need a cake. Oh, do they now? Gee golly gosh. Gee golly gosh. All right. Who are you? Oh, that's Darian, okay. Who's that? Max, oh, Max is old now? After the whole fiasco earlier, gave him, uh, him and Oscar, just grade them right on out. Okay, you making that cake? You making that cake? Ooh, I'm sorry, I'm strange today. Okay, let's get that cake out. Do 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 get that cake out of the oven. You gonna put some candles on it? Candles on it, please. Are you just gonna look at it? Nope, she's not gonna put candles. Okay, 
Well, we'll have Penny put candles on her own cake. Stop doing this before somebody else tries to take a piece. Okay. And now it is time for you to blow out your candles. Make a wish, Penny. Make one. I said make one. Uh-oh. And we have yet another fire. Uh, just about sums up this episode. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> Yay! Woohoo! She is an adult now. Yippee. All right, put more candles on it. Cute, cute, cute. And now let's get Quaid up here. Actually, Penny, why don't you call a repair service? Quaid, come up here and blow out your candles. Blow out your candles, sweetheart. It's time for you to be an adult and get GTFO the house. Oh, whoo, yes. Big, big, big breath. Big breath. <gasps> whoo, yeah, there we go, boy. There we go. All right, he is a painter with gloomy, art-loving, geeky traits. Delightful. Perfect. Okay. Well, you know what? I think we're about... We're going to wrap this episode up. Um, a lot's going on today. How about we go ahead... We'll wrap it up as we... Uh, oh, that's right. We can't split during a social event. All right. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, Quaid will be at the other Whitley house the next time you see us. We have two baby daddies lined up. We have Connor and Darian. Uh, that was their names, right? You're Connor. And then where's Darian? Ooh, this isn't going well over here between the, <laughs> between the kids. Okay, where Darian? Where is Darian? Darian, where'd you go? Where'd you go? I miss you so. I think he... Well, did he just decide not to show? Maybe he decided not to show because I don't see him. All right, but anyway, that's it. That's it, you guys. If you liked today's episode, please leave a comment or a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, no, that's him. Oy vey. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to subscribe. That way you know when I put out a new video, and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.